Hi everybody! Sometimes laptop upgrades are straightforward and they work out of the box, but sometimes they don't. And today I'm gonna show you an epic failure. I tried to upgrade the RAM memory of my ThinkPad T480S. It's a really good machine and it deserves more RAM, but unfortunately things didn't go as planned. However, you can always learn from mistakes. And the moral of this story is that Lenovo has a really good diagnostics software. Let me show you how it works. Unlike the other laptops on the market, the ThinkPads have some unique key features in the firmware which we're gonna use in this video. The BIOS setup utility allows you to temporarily disable the built-in battery. This is highly recommended and very useful when you're doing hardware upgrades or repairs. The second really cool feature specific for ThinkPad laptops is the Diagnose tool which includes memory tests. We're gonna use it later on in the video. If you have watched my previous videos, you know the drill. Turn on the laptop, hit enter, after that hit F1, go to config and from power select disable building battery. This is just temporary. Next time when you plug a power supply in the laptop, the battery will be automatically enabled. For safety concerns, it is highly recommended to use this feature and disable the built-in battery before doing any upgrades. This way, without physically removing the battery, you're cutting off the power so you can safely plug in and out components. Another thing that I highly recommend you to do before performing any upgrade is to visit the Lenovo website to find out the exact model of the ThinkPad that you have and to check the datasheet. This is a PDF containing technical information. For example, from the PDF for Lenovo ThinkPad T480S, we can see that this laptop has 8 GB soldered memory on the system board and it is possible to add additional memory to the sodium slot. This is what we're gonna do. This is a laptop from 2018, so it's a little bit old for today's standards. It works with DDR4 RAM at 2400 MHz. To access the system board and add more RAM, I need to remove the back cover on the base of the laptop. For this purpose, I'm using a screwdriver and a plastic card to carefully remove the cover from the main chassis of the laptop. Let's have a quick look at the motherboard. It is a green printed circuit board with white silk screen. The SODIM for RAM is located next to the CPU. It is a SODIM slot for DDR4 RAM. So I'm carefully plugging in a compatible RAM stick. Lenovo ThinkPad T480S supports dual channel RAM as well as DDR4 at 2400 MHz. All models of this laptop have soldered RAM on the system board. Some of these models have 4 GB, others, like the one that I have here, are with 8 GB of RAM soldered to the system board. There is only one sodium socket for plugging in extra RAM. This is a pretty cool hardware feature present on T480S. Unfortunately, newer models like T14S do not have any sodium sockets. Thanks to the magic of video editing, we can fast forward and quickly have a look how I'm assembling again the back cover. Now it's time to try out the upgrade. It is very important to plug a USB charger, this way we'll re-enable the building battery. Turn on the computer, quickly hit enter. From the menu, press F10 to diagnose the hardware. This tool is amazing. It is a key feature for Lenovo ThinkPad laptops that I really love and I highly recommend. This is one of the differences between ThinkPads and other laptops. There are many different tests, but in this particular case, we are interested in trying out the new memory that I've just installed. I'll do a quick test. Please note that this Lenovo Diagnostics tool is part of the firmware, so it runs the same way no matter if you have an operating system and no matter what kind of operating system you have. It's a low level tool for testing the hardware. And here comes the problem. As I told you at the beginning of the video, sometimes things don't work out as we plan them. The quick memory test failed. There are additional tests that take more time that I can run. Again, thanks to the magic of video editing, I can fast forward all these tests so we won't wait in the video. But unfortunately, the longer tests also confirm that the memory is faulty. So the upgrade is not successful. And unfortunately, the RAM on this laptop is no longer working as expected. This is definitely caused by the new RAM that I plugged in the SODIM slot of T480S because before recording the video, I ran the same test without the additional memory. 
there is no point to keep it this way so i'll just uh, disassemble again the laptop and get rid of the faulty ram memory that i've inserted later on i'll buy a new one here is a closer look at the faulty ram stick it is ddr4 running at 2400 megahertz but unfortunately it just don't work so sorry at least i hope that you've learned some interesting thing from this epic failure of my ram upgrade on lenovo thinkpad t480s well it's one of those days when things don't work out as expected this ram goes to the recycle bin it's not good however there is always something that you can learn from the mistakes that you do and in this case i think the moral of the story is that the thinkpads like thinkpad t480s from this video or um, some of the new generations like uh, t14 and t14s all these um, uh, thinkpads have really good firmware for diagnosing hardware so immediately after you plug new hardware you can do a test to verify that it actually works this saves a lot of time because uh, otherwise the computer will boot and will kind of work but from time to time it's gonna freeze or uh, re restart so especially when you are upgrading the ram quickly do the uh, test using the lenovo thinkpad diagnostics too to make sure it's fine and if it's not do what i did just throw the ram memory in the recycle bin thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was interesting and i hope that you've learned something from the mistake that i just did uh, if you like it uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for new videos see you soon